Hey guys, happy Wednesday, Valerie Hunt, Ask Me Anything, RRX. So we had a really great question come in, and her question was, I've been working on um, getting out of my quads, and I'd like to know how, basically what's the role in the action of the glutes in running? So she said she's trying to be less quad dominant. She realized she's using too much of the front of the leg and the hip in her walking and her movement. So, and then she said, and with the pose running, how, oops, how is it that you're able to fall, and when you fall, kind of what is happening uh, in the muscles when that happens? Um, maybe a long-winded way to <laughs> ask that question, but basically it's what are the glutes doing during my run? And so one of the things that I do like to talk about is, is the fun part of running, right, is the, the running part itself, which is what? being out there and really what the, the free fall aspect of it and the simplicity of what I need to do in my run, which is pull my foot up from the ground. So the first question you want to think about is what muscle is working, what muscle do I need to work during my run? And we'll talk about muscles for just a second. So in running, all the muscles are working, all of them. Every muscle you have <laughs> is, is alive, if you will. So, the fun part of running is that running, the best part of running is if you work with your body as a unit, as a body weight, muscles respond to body weight. And body weight, of course, is working with gravity. So if you work with what's already there, what's happening when you run is when you're on the ground, you want to be in the right place at the right time. This is, the, this is running. So you want to be in what's called the running pose or the figure four. And everybody, everybody goes through the figure four. Whatever speed or distance you run, if you film yourself, you'll find your figure four. So the challenge is, when I'm right here, so ideally we don't want to be on the ground for very long, right? We want to be moving on. <laughs> so when you're right here on the ground, just so you know, just to hold your body in balance, takes 300 muscles. I just read that the other day. In running, you're working all 600 and plus. So right now, while I'm here, what muscles are working? Basically all of them, you understand? Because what's holding me up right now? So this is important. So are my glutes on? Sure. My quads? Yeah. Calves? Awake? Sure. I mean, everything is working simply to hold me upright balanced, right? My whole body right now is working together to hold me on one leg in this pose. So this is really important because in this one moment is when the body can fall forward. This is the best part, which takes no muscular effort at all because you allow free fall and it's, gravity's already there. So once you start the free fall, what happens is it unweighs your foot that you're standing on. Once that foot's unweighted and you pull it, you're done with your job, and you need to be ready to pull again. See what I mean? So running is a series of the same gait cycle of pose, fall, pull, pose, fall, pull. Of course, without that pause, you just fall, and up, up, up. Your job is to pull. So you have to just know that every other muscle is doing its job. See what I mean? I don't have time to ask all 600 of my muscles Hey, <laughs> get ready, it's about to be your turn. And I'm, I'm being silly, but I'm, it took me a long time to understand this, so I wanna kind of give you an understanding. So what happens then is what muscle do we need to use to pull the foot, and it's the hamstring. The hamstring muscle is what pulls the foot up, and you see it closes the leg. So the action of the hamstring is the only active muscle contraction that we control in running. That we, you, me, you, we pull. That's where your control is. My job is right there. The challenge is right here. As soon as you let go of your foot, you have to relax your ankle and trust that your hamstring knows how to do this. And I promise you it does. Promise. So what happens then is you start to run, you get way more comfortable in doing what your job is, which is the pull, but understanding that holding your ear, shoulders, hips never, never 
is a rest from that. This is the hold. So then it's just fall and pull. And when I'm running, I'm not thinking of muscles. I'm thinking of the direction of my pull, which is up. My foot goes up. Up, 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 up. Falling you allow, right? So once you fall, up, up, up. You're pulling your foot up to keep up. You don't have time while you're running to think, what muscles am I working? It's not a thought. Your thought is your job. And you want to just be more efficient at your job, right? But once you guys are good at your job, you just get better at it. So that's something to keep in mind. So here's the challenge I have for you. Do I need to have um, a good, strong foundation? Do I need glute strength? Sure. Don't you want to get better at holding your body up? I do. If you want to run any distance, walk any distance, sit, stand, I think we all understand at this point that these muscles work to hold us up. So they're working all of the time. You see what I mean? They're not getting a break. But there's no way while you're running you could be like, squeeze your glutes. Squeeze, squeeze. You can't. You see what I mean? Then you're not running anymore. You're trying to control muscles. And that you can do when what? When you're strength training. So strength training is an important part for running simply because it teaches you and develops your ability to make sure you're doing the correct movement and able to hold it, right? So glute exercises are fantastic. And if you go through the Runner X Reboot, uh, Reboot guys on YouTube, there's a 30-day program where it's skill, strength, self-care. Skill, strength, self-care. And all of the strength is to help you be able to do this when you're running. Because this holding part is, you know, when your foot lands on the ground, your hips need to be stable. What does that mean? They need to be able to hold my body weight. <laughs> That's stability, right? So when I'm here, I want my hips to be right here under my shoulders holding me. When I switch feet, I want that same stability in the hip, right? But again, that's something I work on outside of running. And what's fun is, there's a lot of great strength exercises, so it's not like this is the one, but imagine that if you did work at least once a week on just the simple strength of pulling the foot, how much is actually happening, right? So I'm teaching myself what the pull feels like, developing a relationship with my hamstring, but while I stand here and pull, this whole side, of course, is holding. So there's a lot of strength work just in standing in your pose and practicing your pulls. And then the other part, of course, is you know that whole upper body hold. So again, it's not like this is the one exercise, right? Because it doesn't make any sense. But I will show you because one of my, I do have favorites. <laughs> but the pull itself, right, is here. So then you can say, well, what's the deal with the glutes? Well, this whole time I've been standing here, they've been on, if you will, to hold me up. So they, don't, they just don't get to have a break. So that's why when you do like glute isolation exercises, you don't do 1,500 reps at a time, right? You do enough to like overload the muscle or feel it. But when you're running guys, just realize they just have to hang on the whole time. <laughs> and so you develop that relationship with hip exercises. And so, again, go through the portal, there's a ton. But I'll just show you one real quick, then I'll move on. But lunges, lots of people love lunges, right? So when people do lunges, I'm like, okay, lunges are great. In my world, lunges start at the bottom because everything I want to do is up. I want to lift my body weight. So I'm going to start with my shrug, see, from here, which is going to help to lift my hips. I have body weight in this foot, I have body weight in this foot. I'm going to unweigh my body by pressing into the ground with my feet and lifting my arms and hips. You see? The unweighting, that lift up. And then on the way down, it's all about control here in the core and you control on the way down, right? But gravity, if I had no control, gravity would just drop me, right? But I'm developing that great relationship to go, okay, fine. My job is only to unweigh my hip, see? And that's the exercise. And then I always, of course, add a pull, because I'm me, right?
Now, when I teach this, the, the first thing I teach people is first find your glute. Put your hand here, squeeze this glute muscle. You see? If you squeeze it, you can feel it. There it is. Now hold it. Squeeze that glute as tight as you can. Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it, and then lift. So you see, that is the job of that glute. So now, squeeze as you lift, see? Squeeze as I lift. Squeeze as I lift. So you can feel, okay, that's the pattern. But I promise if you start to just do the movement correctly, that glute will come on all by itself. And then what you're realizing is, see, there's nothing going on with this leg. It's just a stability leg. And it's the same in running, right? Instead of trying to feel the muscle work, I want to just know it works. Because when I'm running, I'm not feeling body muscles. I'm feeling this guy. But when you do your strength exercises, squeeze this glute as tight as you can. Tuck that pelvis under. And right there, by the way, this is a really good so as stretch on its own. But find your glute. There it is. Then use your shrugging and I'm waiting. Lift up. Try a few. Really woo, talking to this glute. And then let it go. And you'll feel if you really work on lifting that hip, I'm waiting here. Wow, that's really not that hard of an exercise, even though it's still a hard exercise, but it really isn't that uh, kind of hard. And when you start to switch your thoughts that way, then when you're running, you'll lift up. And running itself isn't the hard part. The hard part is holding you're up your line and breathing because it's cardio and it's fun to play because I promise you if you think things like my glutes aren't working I mean it's a weird thought <laughs> they are absolutely working <laughs> I promise you so use the strength exercises to kind of refine them reconnect with them if you will but just know they're absolutely working but yeah, they might need some fine tuning. How's that? <laughs> but I want you to realize it's not limiting you in your run. The only thing limiting us in our run is our thought. Because if we're only thinking of fall forward and you let that foot pull, you're running. And then you're running like a little kid, right? Because that's really what it goes back to. I always tell people if you look at kids and how effortless it appears to them, they didn't do any strength training because they got out there or mobility. They just let go. So part of the letting go for us as adults is both mental and then physical. We really do have to do all of the mobility. Like, <laughs> there's no getting around it anymore, right? You got to do all of your movement exercises, right? Ankle circles are really good. Again, there's not, this is the one, but a lot of people will reach out to me and this is uh, what I'll finish with. And they say things like, my I'm trying to do what you say, my calves hurt. I'm trying to pull my feet quicker than my shins. You know, I'm feeling different um, pain or whatnot. So one of the things I just want to leave you guys with, and it is uh, fun also, I think. The best part that really opened my mind about running, because remember, my background's not running. Well, now I've been running for 30 years, <laughs> over half my life, but I didn't run track and field. So I didn't have like old habits, if you will. But most people that I meet that did run for years and years, the idea that you can help yourself feel acceleration, just free falling, is simply you letting go and letting your body fall forward. But it's controlled, obviously. The simplicity of this is someone that's run their whole life or did a lot of track work or you know things like that. They have put themselves in this pose for years and years and years and years and years and years, and years right? For the rest of us, we are doing a combination of mental matching with the physical, meaning I have to understand what it is that I'm trying to feel right here and realize that, oh, okay, I'm feeling my body weight shift up and forward, see? Where's my body weight? It's on the ball of my foot. So connecting with that, see, so then when I'm running and I sense my body weight, then I know, oh, it's time to pull. See, that's what I'm developing, the sensation of as I fall forward, I can't control anything. That's hard, isn't it? But you can control your pull and your timing. So you have to let go of anything else other than I am going to fall to that post and pull my foot. Pull! You see? <laughs> and then all of a sudden, what happened with my other foot? 
It, gravity took it, gravity took it, and then what brought it back up? It's called muscle tendon elasticity. Isn't that cool? So if you get out of the way of your muscles and only think about your job of, I'm gonna fall and pull and do nothing else, pull, you see? What you'll start to realize is, oh wow, it feels kind of like springy. You're absolutely right. And then I wanna replicate that in my run. So if I'm running and it feels like I'm landing heavier, it's hurting, then think, where's my fall point? Find yourself a fall point. Put a magnet here and a magnet there and simply <laughs> let go for a second. And I'm telling you, when you start to let go of what muscles am I using, my hips are tight, these, these are the thoughts that people are coming in with, um, you will start to run. <laughs> and, and start with just that sensation. You know, don't worry if it's perfect. Just, can I actually feel like, because really gravity is, is working, so it's fun to kind of feel it. So my last thing for you guys today, because I love the questions, is instead of thinking um, I need to train a specific muscle, get comfortable with training like overall strength, hip strength, foot strength, get in your feet, but mainly like balance, right? Holding, this is what I've got to hold every single time I touch down, so the more I play with this, the better, and of course I'm using a lot of muscles without having to like squeeze them or overload them or anything else. So combine your strength training that way, add some hops for elasticity so that when you're running, you can keep pulling. And remember, we don't bounce up and run because why? Because we fall forward. So all of that bounce goes that way. <laughs> so if you're feeling bouncy, more falling. If you're feeling, really that's the answer for a lot of us, getting up off the ground quicker. All right, guys, that was a great conversation. You can always uh, leave me a question or a comment here. Uh, you can definitely go to the website, uh, send an email for questions. Also, if you have any kind of like uh, unfortunate lingering pain, um, go to the site. And by the way, I'm gonna do something fun. We are, right now, we have a quiz, which is great. It helps you to see that maybe there's a movement error that's causing the pain in your run. So a lot of people don't realize you're pushing or you're reaching and you're like, oh, I had no idea. So then you have to switch to the thinking of pulling. So it's fun to kind of get an idea of how to correct that or start to add some uh, tips for your training. And I'm gonna take it a step further. So by the end of the, I don't know, probably the next month, we're gonna have on there some extra condensed because I have like a lot of skill, strength and self-care tips. So I'm gonna try to do like more specific like hips, calves and feet, shoulders. You need to work everything, but sometimes when we have one area that's talking to us a little bit more than the other, I understand that you want to give it a little extra love. So keep the questions coming, and I will talk to you guys next week. Thanks so much.